903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, man. Uh, before I get into this, uh, I do want to thank my subscribers. Uh, everybody that's rocking with me, I appreciate you. Like I told you, this is a journey. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's very complicated. 
uh, it's very complex. But uh, we're going to get through it, man. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, um, I don't follow a lot of shit. Uh, it's a lot of shit I don't follow. But, 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 and I've heard some shit. Yeah, yeah, I've been hearing uh, certain shit about this brother called Orlando Brown. Yeah, Orlando Brown, I've been hearing some things, and so I decided to look him up, and yeah, I listened to some of the things he said, and uh, yeah, uh, in particular, uh, yeah, uh, I watched the video, yeah, an interview he did with old Dr. Phil, yeah, Dr. Phil, yeah, I seen the interview, and, and that's, that was the interview that really made me say, you know what, I, I, let me do it, let me do a video about this. Uh, let's get to the shit. So, uh, I, I, I want to make something very clear. Uh, I'm crazy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm crazy. Uh, I'm crazy as hell. I'm, I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Charles J is fucking loony to him. Yeah, I done lost my goddamn mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm very intelligent. It's a lot of good shit I can say about myself, but overall, yeah, I'm crazy. Uh, I'm very crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, um, uh, some would probably think I need to be in a crazy house. Uh, some would probably think I need medicine. Uh, some probably think I should be in a straight jacket. Uh, some may think I'm homicidal. Uh, some may think I'm suicidal. Uh, but overall, I am crazy. Uh, let me explain. Uh, I grew up in a, uh, pretty rough environment. Uh, well, I had a mother and father, and yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I had a lot of good things growing up, uh, but it's a lot of shit I went through also. Uh, yeah, my parents split up. Yeah, it's a lot to that. It's a lot of shit went on, and I found myself in the streets at a very young age, at the age of 13, and I witnessed a lot of shit as a teenager. Uh, I went to jail as a teenager. Uh, yeah, I remember actually one, one time I went to jail on my 14th, 14th birthday. Yeah, I went through a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, had a couple motherfuckers try to kill me as a teenager. Yeah, I went through a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, been the pre Yeah, uh, I'm crazy. Uh, sometimes in life, um, it's not, it's not the individual, it's the circumstance. Um, if you ask me, I, I want to tell y'all something. Uh, I think every, I think it ain't a black man or black woman in this world that ain't crazy. Uh, we just sometimes crazy can be considered normal. Uh, I remember when I went to prison, it was an older brother. He told me, I was like, because I used to be like, damn, that motherfucker crazy. Because, you know, you hear that growing up. Every black person, you've always heard other black folks say that black person crazy. That That's a known thing in our, in our community. Yeah, we call uh, everybody crazy. We call each other crazy. So, yeah, we all crazy. Uh, so, yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, every, uh, he, he was like, no, uh, no, nah, nah, he ain't crazy. Everybody crazy. Uh, we in prison. Uh, yeah, motherfuckers is, uh, jacking off on guards and shit. Yeah, motherfuckers doing a lot of weird shit, and that's considered normal. So, yeah, we real crazy. It's just the environment. And so, I won't even, uh, translate that to out here. Uh, yeah, we do a lot of weird shit. Motherfuckers try to run you off the road. Uh, motherfuckers try to cause wrecks on the highway. Yeah, motherfuckers do a lot of weird shit. Motherfuckers, uh, yeah, motherfuckers do dope and stay up all night. Yeah, we crazy as shit. Yeah, yeah, we drink, we party. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, our people die and we celebrate. Uh, we get drunk and fucked up after crying. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. We are all very crazy, and I, I want us to realize that. Uh, but it's due to our situation and circumstance. Uh, I want to explain something to y'all. Um, uh, it's some stuff I studied. Uh, because, like I said, I used to hear things when I first started learning about my people and certain things when I quit game banging and I wanted to learn about my people and learn about where we come from and, and certain things. Uh, 
it's it's this thing I, I read up on. It's called yeah, yes, yeah, about fear and how uh yeah, fear can be translated into a group of people. Uh, even years and years later, it can be transferred through generations. Yeah, through the blood, through the genetics. Yeah, and all that. Uh, yeah, fear. Uh, uh, when that black woman uh is pregnant. Uh. And she's in fear, and yeah, yeah, all the way back to when the master used to rape the woman, and then make her have a baby, and make the baby a slave. Yeah, yeah, uh, and, and and it goes back to that. Yeah, when the black women used to get raped and have to carry that baby and take care of that baby, and know that baby gonna be a slave, and know that baby gonna be mistreated. So that whole pregnancy, she's in fear. So yeah, that 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 passes down through the blood, and that's why I believe we are all born in fear yeah because it ain't a black woman in the world that didn't had a baby that didn't have a deep fear and i mean deeper than just having a baby knowing that this baby may get sh grow up to get shot uh knowing this baby may grow up to sell dope up uh, knowing this baby may grow up to yeah uh he might uh be considered crazy just like this brother here he may go, go through some it may be a heartbreak uh it just may be anything it may just be from being broke yeah being broke will make you crazy yeah yeah let me tell Tell you something. I done did some crazy shit being broke. Yeah, yeah. I done did some. I done did some wild shit just because I was broke. So yeah, uh, being broke will make you crazy. Uh, so yeah, I just need y'all to understand that uh, you're in a system where you gotta kind of you, you're fending and you're fighting and you yeah you you you, you just scrambling for any piece and crumb you can get. So yeah, you trying to just get all the crumbs you can get and hopefully it can add up to a piece of pie which you won't get. So yeah, it. it, it it's all crazy and so yeah i think we all crazy so yeah this ain't even a smear campaign uh on old Orlando. i actually feel bad for him and uh i think his uh uh, cause it was his manager that brought him on Dr. Phil. He said he was worried about him. And yeah, he said that the boy said Michael Jackson, his daddy, and Will Smith, his dad. Bro, what do they got? Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. First and foremost, um, you can't go to the oppressor trying to get help for what the oppressor did to you. Um, uh, 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 this system is controlled by white folks, uh, white supremacy to be, uh, sp specific. But yeah, white folks benefit from it. So, uh, a black man can't go to a white boy for counseling. Uh, you can't go to, you can't go to your oppressor, the motherfucker that got the white boy privilege and you want him to help you with your problems that you've dealing with through oppression. Now, nah, pimping, uh, I don't believe in that counseling shit cause most counselors are white boys and white girls. Uh, 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 black folks, a white girl or a white boy can't help you with your problems. He can't help you with that hurt that's deep inside you that you don't understand. He can't help you with that. So, yeah, uh, that's some shit you gotta tap into. You gotta, uh, yeah, you gotta dig deep within your goddamn self. A white boy can't help you with your, uh, craziness. Uh, you're still gonna be crazy when you leave that office and you're just wasting your money. So, yeah, um, uh, uh, that shit ain't gonna help. Uh, yeah, um, uh, but yeah, uh, I wish the brother the best, uh, Orlando. I I don't know what they did to you in the industry. I know you came in as a kid and uh, I know how weird these motherfuckers is in Hollywood and how they prey on children. Yeah, because I know that's one of the biggest things in Hollywood. It ain't just homosexuality that's running Hollywood. Uh, it's messing with these kids. That That's what they really, yeah, that's really what Hollywood really is. And so I think something happened to the boy and I think he was going to tell it and so they said he's crazy so nobody will believe nothing he say. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. This is 903 boxing i am your host charles j and with that i'm out